Okay, so we've made this chat window right here, this component, and we said that we wanted to separate this form at the bottom where a user adds a new message into its own component. So let's create that new component first of all over here, and we'll call it new message dot view. Now then, we don't need to create a route for this because obviously it's not going to have its own page. We're just going to nest this component inside here. So we'll do that first of all. We'll import the file inside here. We'll say import and it will be new message from and then at forward slash components forward slash new message. Okay, so now we can register it down here. We'll create a new property called components which will be an object and inside this object will register the new message component. Okay, so now instead of this input field right here, we'll nest the new message component. Now, in this new message component, we'll be getting the message from the user in an input field and sending it to the database, but we also want to get from the user the name. Now we currently have access to the name here as a prop, but we can pass it also down into this new message component as well. So we'll say name is equal to, and then we'll say name in here. Now this is gonna pass down name as a literal string. So we need to do some data binding here to bind something dynamic in here. So now it will look for this property name over here, and we can pass it down into this component so we have access to it. Okay, so let's save that first of all, and then head to new message to create this template. So template tags first of all, then inside we need a div with a class of new hyphen message. So inside this component, we just want basically a form with an input field and maybe a label. So let's create that form first of all. We don't need the action, but we will attach a submit event to it. So at sign submit, and we want to prevent the default action. We'll set this equal to a function called add message. Now we don't have that created yet. We'll do it in a minute. Okay, so inside this form, we want a label first of all, and this is gonna be for the new message input field. And in the text area, we'll say new message. And then I want a user to click enter to add this because when you click enter in a form, that submits the form. We don't just have to click on a button we can click enter inside a form and that will fire the submit event as well. So I'll just say in brackets, enter to add. Okay, so now we have the label, we just need the input field. So import, it's of type text and it's gonna have a name property equal to new hyphen message. All right, now we'll create our script tag down here and then come back to this in a second. So let's do our script tag where we have our data property inside. This returns an object. Okay, so now we need some kind of property to store the value of this input field on. Now we'll call this new message. So new message like so, and to begin with, set it equal to null. Now what we can do over here then is say V model equals new message so that whatever a user types into this field, it updates this property with. So we're storing that property now. We also need to give this a name, this component, and it's new message. And remember, we're receiving a prop from the parent component, so we'll say props, and that prop is the name. Okay, so now we have this hooked up to here. So when a user clicks enter, it's going to fire this function right here, add message. So let's define that in our methods property. Create the function called add message. And inside here, what do we want to do? Well, ultimately, we want to send this data, the message and the name, and also a timestamp of when this message was created to the database. But for now, let's just log them to the console. We'll say console.log, this.newMessage. We'll also log this.name, because that's the prop we're receiving. And then we'll also log date, Dot now to create a timestamp. So when a user clicks enter, it's going to grab the now date and it's going to tack that on here. And we're going to publish that to the database as well. So let's save this and see if it works over here. 
we can see this component is embedded into the chat window. If we inspect the elements so we can get the console over here, we have some errors there, but if we refresh, hopefully we don't get those errors. Okay, cool. Now we'll enter in a name first of all, Mario, enter the chat and let's add a message. So we'll just say, hey there, press enter. And now we get, hey there, the message, Mario, the name, and this timestamp right here. Now this is milliseconds since a certain date. So it doesn't look like a particular time, but that millisecond value will allow us to format a time later on. Okay, so we'll use this to store in the database. Then when we retrieve it back, we can take that timestamp, this millisecond value, and we can turn it into a date that is logical, something like 4 p.m. on Thursday or something like that. Okay, so there we go. We've created this new message component now and we've grabbed the data that we need. So now we can look at how we can get this data and send it to our Firestore.